Morning. Um, so today in my video, I'm going to be talking to you about building your argument, developing your writing further, making sure that your opening um, is just as uh, sort of powerful all the way through your piece of writing. And really, it's about being persuasive. It's about building momentum. It's about driving your argument all the way through. Now, I mentioned this in my other um, lockdown video sort of tutorial, is that sometimes it's, it's quite easy to write an excellent opening and then suddenly become sort of a bit stuck two or three paragraphs in. So hopefully today I'm going to share with you some things that you can do and you can include to help um, sort of build your argument, to help develop your ideas and to, to essentially write a little bit more. Um, so in English, we talk about having a, a thread that runs all the way through your piece of writing. And, and your thread really is your line of argument. Before you start writing, you need to be thinking about what is it that, that's really important to me about this, about telling the truth? What do I really think about telling the truth? And is it always the right thing to do? And you should really be able to sum up your line of argument in, in, in one sentence. Okay, It should be really kind of concise and specific. And what you've got to make sure is that the argument is, is, is referenced in every single paragraph, that you use the argument as like a thread, as like a rope that runs through your entire piece of writing. Um, so that's one thing that you need to be aware of. So keep looking back in each paragraph once you've you know, written it. Look back. Am I really driving my argument forward there? Am I building momentum? Is my line of argument really, really clear? Um, and then what you need to do also is really think about your audience, okay? Am I, am I connecting with my audience? Have, have I included some things that, that they're going to be interested in? Have I tried tapped into their emotions, perhaps? So what I'm going to do is just share with you some of the things that um, I would include in a classroom setting. Um, and I'll leave these sort of on the video and talk over it so you can, you can use this in your piece of writing. So these are um, some of the things that you uh, might want to use to keep keep your argument going to keep writing so um we hear this a lot i don't know what else to write um and you may or may not have seen this from your teachers but we like to refer to the list of 10 now the list of 10 is essentially um 10 big ideas that really you can apply to, to any question five um question task or theme um and obviously we're not asking you to use all 10 of those but we're asking you to perhaps use two or three of those and they can form your paragraphs so this question is about telling the truth, whether telling the truth is always the right thing to do. You could perhaps look at morality here, okay? You could go back and do some research and look at some stories and some morals that perhaps talk about telling the truth um, and whether that's always a good thing. The law might be quite an interesting one. You could, you could talk, you know, for so many examples where it talks about the law, about telling the truth and, and why that's so important. Okay, but pick the ones that you think you can you can talk about the most. There's no there's no right ones, there's no wrong ones. It's, there's just a bit of a guidance there of things that you could, where else you could go in your writing. So don't pick all 10 of them, perhaps pick two or three of them. And, you know, develop your writing further, give some specific examples, think about how each of those themes that you've selected um, mirror or, or match the question. Okay, so the next thing that I think um, you people might struggle on is that you don't know how to expand your ideas. So you might have your list of 10 and you think, well, hang on, I don't really know where else to go. Um, and again, what you have to do is, is use these sort of sparingly and it's all about variety. You don't want to use, you know, facts in, in every uh, paragraph or statistics in every paragraph because it comes quite formulaic and, and not very effective, two out of three people. Um, what you want to do is, is, is vary these in each of your paragraphs. So you've got some of the most obvious ones that you've probably heard and seen of before. So listing, facts, statistics. Um, emotive language is, is, I think, a really key one and direct address to the reader. So making sure that you are connecting with your reader, making sure that you are using, you know, um, inclusive pronouns like we, our, um, and really sort of tap into those um, emotions that your audience might be experiencing about um, telling the truth. Um, I've talked about hyperfora there and what I haven't got on is rhetorical question because what we find um, sometimes with rhetorical questions is they're quite open-ended. Um, things like, what do you think? And they're not very effective. Um, this technique here, number seven, is essentially where you ask a question and then you directly answer it. So you could ask a question of, you know, how how have your feelings been affected by lie by lies? And then you could perhaps give an answer. You could talk about your feelings affected by lies, or I imagine that you you were feeling quite emotional or quite hurt or quite betrayed. So really think about using that technique. Um, it's quite a high level technique as well, rather than those really sort of vague, open ended. Um, rhetorical questions 
anaphoric repetition. You can use repetition for effect in so many ways, um, not because you've forgotten what else to say, but you know, there's many speeches. If you, if you search for persuasive speeches on YouTube, you know, there's anaphoric repetition is used um, all, all across the board, really. So I think about examples I've read in some of my year 11 work. Um, you know, we want you to do this and we want you, we want you. Um, so really repeating those those ideas. So there's a big list of um, devices there that you can use and that will help you expand your ideas um, that you've got from your list of 10. And then finally, um, I don't know how to start a sentence. I don't know how to start. There's a bit of a few sentence openers there that um, really help you build your argument because really this is what it's about. It's about building an argument. It's about building momentum. It's about building your line of argument all the way through, that thread that runs all the way through. So there's a nice list here. Obviously, it's not um, in exclusive. You can uh, find other sentence openers, but a big list here that you can use to start each paragraph or sentences. And remember, it's all about variety. So you don't want to have all your paragraphs that start with clearly, and you don't want to just use um, tripling or tricolons, and you don't want to just use health, money, or beliefs. It's about having a, th a thread um, that is filled with variety, that is filled with ambitious ideas. So, you don't know what else to write, pick two or three of those. I don't know how to expand my ideas. There's a big list there of persuasive devices that you can use to help build your argument, to expand your ideas that you've got from your list of